Hey everybody, welcome back. This is part two of working with Booleans in the Operators and Methods unit. So now we're going to talk about an operator called OR. And OR is a binary operator, usually. And what it means, well, I don't want to say usually. I just, I don't know for 100% that it's always binary, but all the cases I've ever seen it used, it requires a binary because you need to compare two Boolean values. And the OR operator will give you the result of whether either one of them are true. So if we look at this, the, uh, this is something like a truth table. If you took CS or if you were in CS for a little bit and then bailed and now are coming back, um, console.log, this is kind of like a truth table, which is to say if the first value is true and the second value is true, it's true. Uh, if the first is true and second is false. Well, let's go ahead and take it over to Replit. So that's our previous work. So we got this expression is true or true. And so or is going to give us true in the event that one or the other is true. So for any case where we have true in it, we're going to log true. The only case where we get false is where both are false. So uh, we're answering the question, are either of these true? And when we log these to the console, we'll see that we get a nice little true, 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 false. Connected. That's good. True, 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 false. Excellent. So now that we have that down, let's talk about some variables that might be useful for this. So we're going to talk about a variable called will attend an event. So true means I will attend the event. False means I will not. Have a car refers to whether I have a car or not. Buses are running refers to whether the buses are running. So if I will attend the event is based on the idea that either I have a car or the buses are running. And we're going to adjust these variables in a moment to, oh geez, where'd we go? Oh boy. I think it hit tab there, just in case you're curious what keeps doing that. Um, so let's paste this on in here. Um, yeah, we'll get rid of this. So have a car is equal to true and buses are, are running, then I will definitely event, attend the event. So this is going to log true with the I will attend the event true. So let's change one of these to false, meaning I don't have a car, but the buses are running. I'll still attend the event because we're not really taking into consideration any sort of preference. This is mainly like a logistics issue. So if we reverse this and I have a car but the buses aren't running, then I need not worry about the bus schedule because I'll just drive myself. Possibly I'll take a friend because maybe they were counting on the buses. And the issue is going to crop up for not going to the event will happen only in the event that both having a car is false and the buses are not running. So if we run this, I will not attend the event because I have no way to get there because the buses are not running and I do not have a car based on these two Boolean variables. Okay, so we are going to complete a function that takes in two Boolean parameters. Your function should create a variable and assign it to the result of comparing two input parameters using the OR operator, then return that variable. Below are examples of the code running, assuming that you will have completed the described function, either are true or either are true. I suppose you can say it either way. Anyway, let's go ahead and copy the function body, or the stub of the function, as you'll hear it called later. And let's go ahead and grab our test cases. Now we're calling these test cases because they are two cases for the function that test whether the function is working in the fashion we believe it is. Actual test suites don't really look like this, but this is the idea of testing that we're going to carry on into module two, or sorry, into module one and then two, and then later on the interview you'll be asked to test, but it'll be very similar to this idea that we're doing here, which is we save a value, we save a very like a, a result of the function with a specific input and then test, in this case visually, just to see if the output is what we think it should be. So now if we run both of these, we're not going to run both of these, create a result variable, variable result, and I suppose we can leave it like that, but let's do both of these instructions in one take. So what we're going to do is we'll say variable result is equal to, and it says assign it to bool1 or bool2. Now what they mean by that is using the boolean operator or to say bool1 or bool2. And this expression is going to be saved in our result variable, which we can then return from the function. So if we run these, we should get should be true and should be false in the correct uh, order. Okay, and the shape we are in is good. Uh, listen, I've been thinking about it and I have no real good way to replace that, so I'm probably just gonna say it in different ways. Anyway, now that we have that going, let's grab the now completed function and put it in the input window. 
running our test, we'll see that everything is correct and the shape we are in is still good. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next one.